Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 Hz, the universal frequency. So today I'm going to go over uh, deepening your ability to listen. Purely so that you can um, deepen your experience in a home, right? So deepening the uh, ability to listen to nothing specific, just listening to everything um, so that you can open up an entrance into the subconscious. You can do this through listening more deeply. You can do this, once again, um, not through anything specific. You don't have to listen to anything specific. You don't necessarily have to listen to anything. But just widening what's being listened to. If you go and sit out outside and you just listen to everything... Open up the blind spots of what you're able to perceive through your hearing and even translate some of the things that are coming out of the blind spots. You can tune into to outformational transmissions, which opens up a A different type of uh, irregularity. Something that was already there, but you have forgotten about it or you uh, remained ignorant of it because it was out of the conscious mind. So, through the deepening of your listening, you can open up the subconscious and what is. Uh, more within that state of flow like I was going over yesterday uh, the state of flow which I forgot to mention is opening yourself up to the subconscious mind and being able to uh, utilize the subconscious mind so it's all within the process of integration of the unconscious uh, the unconscious being the unrealized and the, the conscious being the realized um, but then obviously there's it there's a, a, a polarity to it as well, right? Um, but the subconscious opens up when you're in the flow state that uh, that mystical that mystical state. You're you've opened up the subconscious mind. See, mysticism is extremely. Um, whenever you start getting into mysticism. Or just having mystical experiences. You start understanding quantum mechanics. The modern day quantum mechanics. Uh, and even more than that. You start understanding much more than, than just quantum mechanics. Um, because the quantum mechanics are all based on, on natural law. Uh, but then it obviously it goes beyond natural law as well. Um, but that is experienced in the mystical in the mystical state or even the flow state which the quantum field is all subconscious the unified the unification of things through the four um, through the quantum which is just light uh, accelerating beyond its own fluctuation so then understanding within that rate beyond the fluctuation of what light sits at in a normality is easily uh, bring you to a, a sphere of understanding which can uh, expand into higher rates of fluctuation which is allowing you to come into more metaphysical states of being which um, which is on the deep which is in deeper states of flow the moment that you're able to flow more deeply is the moment that you are able to uh, Go into go into the subconscious or the unconscious mind if if you're able to get there, right? Um, 
but then the uh, listening, listening as a technique for self entrancement right uh just listening is a meditation because all ev your everything all beings are, are are continuously listening or at least uh earthly creatures we all have an ability to listen deepening your ability to listen once again um is going to open you up to what is what can be out of your your range of of hearing so you can hear something you can listen to it listening to it is like um like focusing your mind on what's being heard as a sound form and then cognizing the the sound form um but obviously it takes a, another level uh, it takes another level of mastery to be able to um bring in and 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 properly cognize process the sound forms that you're able to hone in on that are being processed through your you know your hearing sense um so you can you can hear something <clears throat> you can listen to it which is more like focusing on it and and cognize and cognizing it into your perception differently um and then actually being able to observe the sound form is just opening yourself up to the sound body itself which takes a little different uh a little bit of a different technique but you can easily come into it if you just listen more deeply right uh but how do you really listen more deeply you really just <clears throat> you relax yourself it's more of a meditation than it is uh something that you're doing right because if you observe animals animals have different ranges of of uh how they're listening or what they're picking up on right you see animals for example you see cats um they sh they're shifting their ears in in multiple different directions all the time while they're remaining in a very meditative state cats are always cats are very meditative creatures so you see them shifting their ears like you shift antennas on a tv to catch different signalings uh see the biomechanistic uh function of shifting the ears is uh it expands spectrally in relation to to what a, obviously what a tv is is able or a radio is able to tune into because the radio uh, or a tv when you're adjusting the antennas you can only tune into so much and a lot of it is just static or distortion uh but the 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 organisms they're shifting their antennas or their ears and they're able to pick up on on many different channels right uh and they're able to entrance themselves with the with the different rhythms that they're shifting their antennas or their ears in which is corresponding with the breath and how they're keeping their breath which is just rhythms within rhythms so which is all just meditation the the meditation is to be able to organize all the different rhythms on a subconscious level and then invest attention into specificities or, or or specific regions of the total spectrum of that entire process and then you're able to uh expand that or collapse that kind of like a computer right on a holographic level or on a mental level um in relation to to at least the the physical form right um so so the 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 ability to listen more deeply is to actually just access a um a specific wavelength of uh of frequency and within that specific wavelength of frequency you can actually um open up various different blind spots that can develop into your sensory perception 
and the, once these blind stop, once these blind spots, which may or may not be clogages or something, uh, once they start transmitting information more often, or once that information is brought into your perception, uh, it can easily become a technique for for self entrancement uh, because of the specific region that you're able to access by deepening your ability to listen to things, right? Um, so obviously this is the meditation or this is a meditation, um, just to listen to things, right? You can do it. You can listen to music. You can listen to nature. You can listen to people. You can listen to just cars, uh, the birds singing. You can listen to, to anything, you know, or just listen to everything. Um, you can even like, you don't even necessarily need to focus on listening on, on anything. Just listen to everything. Um, and, and, and the way that the listening deepens itself, you find the various different, the various different regions that, uh, you aren't accessing due to the way of, uh, modernization and constant action, uh, and entanglement on a, a messy level, right? which can easily be uh, invested to cleanse it as you start to self-organize in deeper meditative states. Uh, you, want to, you want to organize yourself properly. Um, like, like you look at the animals, they're very, very organized beings um, on a mental level. And we're supposed to be more developed on a mental level. Uh, we may or may not be. It just depends on how you look at it. But if that's if that is what is we're if that is what we're agreeing with, then we should be able to do much more um, with our ability to organize various different realms or planes or whatnot. You know, uh, which obviously technology is supposed to be helping with this too. Uh, you know, because it's a gateway to the fourth dimensional, the fourth dimension, or the uh, a digital mediation of a fourth dimensionality, uh, at least. But once again, just expanding the understanding is as simple as deepening your ability to listen to things. Um, and and once again deepening or expanding the understanding is just expanding consciousness because consciousness is an understanding um they're one and the same the more that you understand the more that you're conscious which is just an expansion of consciousness which is the integral investment uh for all being or the soul right so Deepening the listening, deepening the listening, just opening yourself up more, or receiving more information, um, especially information that was subconscious, and that information that was subconscious, or even unconscious, is the information that actually is going to lead to a transmutation of a divine degree. And there's specific reasons why it is of a divine degree, which is also why it was remained subconscious in the first place, because it's all in the process of self-realization. The more that you integrate what was unconscious, unrealized into a state of realization, is the moment that you start developing uh, and revolutionizing oneself from the inside out, until there's no more direction in the process which is just falling into deeper state of yoga, uh, union, and then universal consciousness, right? Um, and then obviously dancing in that, which is to be mastered as well. Um, so then you can just develop on multiple different levels, many different techniques, um, but you're already known about, right? Um, but you can just pick them up. They're all free. 
to an extent. But just deep into listening. Uh, this is very remedial as well. To just listen is very, very remedial. I was speaking of uh, the flow state being extremely remedial because it actually uh, helps us to understand why we may not actually need application of any type of substance to be able to heal ourselves from uh, ailments at the very least, right? Which is true because there's many ancient peoples who, uh, who are showing us this, right? And deepening the listening is, is, is of the same remedial degree because uh, it's within the state of flow as well to just deepen the listening. Um, so just sit outside and listen to things and you start, you'll start to understand yourself as well. This is gonna help you uh, develop a deeper degree of knowledge, self-knowledge, knowledge on self. Because you take the information that's being processed and eventually uh, it just becomes a single organism as the listening becomes deep into a certain extent or a certain degree, right? Because it's all anatomical in a sense. So as you're actually deepening the listening, you're just really shifting or moving an anatomical body that is out of your range a perception or it may just you can call it intangible or invisible or you can call it metaphysical uh, but the moment that you're able to actually shift your consciousness to a different dimension of perception is the moment that what was metaphysical or what was intangible is easily uh, materialized and, and brought in as an actual, as an experience uh, that can be identified with, which then shifts the cognizance on a paradigm level, on a, on a paradigmal level, right? Uh, and and, and as, as the cognizance shifts on a paradigmal level, you can easily begin to experience more, which is just an expansion of consciousness right which is what you really want out of it you want to be able to experience uh, something transcendental right without having to do anything that's the goal I mean if there is a goal uh, investing in consciousness is just that the only effort that you have to apply is the investment itself but if you invest if you, because the investment in consciousness is is a, is a, a little effort there's a little effort to it right you have to make a little effort but the more that you circuit in that process of investing in consciousness then uh, it easily becomes effortless because you're just doing it more and more right and and once it becomes effortless is really when when it starts to uh, when you really start to make leaps quantum leaps um, let me see which is very important to just invest in consciousness right um, so fall into that process it's extremely simple because once again little to no effort is needed to actually invest in, in awareness uh, or consciousness right it takes a little bit of effort because you grow you grow your condition and whatnot your program uh, plethora of programming to keep you from actually making that investment in the first place because that's how they can keep a, um, a condition over you and keep you in a specific density or realm or world but the moment that you break free from that 
then you see uh, that that's actually what's more abundant just just backed by the nature of things so um, deepening the listening is is highly beneficial for you it's even medical uh, to just deepen your listening and um, and trust right just trust the process trusting the process is is inevitable there's no other way to live right I talked about this a few times uh, tr trust trust is embedded in your in your DNA um, very deeply too whenever you are are born or when you're in the womb there's a deep sense of bondage and trust to your mom to keep you uh, from danger or at the very least to keep you from dying right uh, and then whenever you're actually born you are uh, you're still in that deep trust right that you develop intertwined with your mother um, to keep you fed because as an infant you can't feed yourself um, so then to keep the whole process of the body going that trust is needed right but obviously uh, there's other there's other forms of, of deep mistrust as well right but I'm not going to talk about these right now because um, they're a little more taboo and they're harder to describe right um, but trust is most definitely needed for all peoples um, and listening deeply can also deepen your trust you don't necessarily have to deepen bondage to anything because you can shift yourself on a conscious level and organize yourself on a conscious level to be able to uh, fine-tune yourself to specific anatomies on the many different bodies that are compiling to create the soul or of the many different bodies um, so just listen more deeply this is this is extremely healing for you and that's it so I do thank everybody for watching once again peace out one love and have a great evening afternoon